Potter lived at number four Privet Drive with his horrible uncle and aunt and their hateful son, Dudley. Harry was often locked in his room, and even though he was a wizard, he couldn't escape because he wasn't allowed to use magic when he was away from school. One evening, a house elf named Dobby appeared. Harry Potter must not go back to Hogwarts. If Harry Potter goes back to Hogwarts, he will be in mortal danger. Dobby disappeared, and shortly after, Harry's best friend, Ron Weasley, and his brothers, Fred and George, arrived in a flying Ford Anglia to rescue Harry from his prison. They flew him to their home, the Borough, where Harry spent the rest of the summer before travelling by flu powder to Diagon Alley. Harry met up with Ron's sister Ginny and went with her to Flourish and Glocks, where the famous wizard author Gilderoy Lockhart was signing his latest book. Great Scott, is that? No, surely not! It is! It's Harry Potter! Ladies and gentlemen, this is the perfect moment for me to make an important announcement. I have great pleasure in announcing that I will be taking up the post of Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher at Hogwarts. Oh. Bet you loved that, didn't you, Potter? Famous Harry Potter. Can't even go into a bookshop without making the front page. Leave him alone. He didn't want all that. Potter, you've got yourself a girlfriend. I suppose your parents will go hungry for a month to pay for all the books you're going to need at Hogwarts. It's the least I can do to help out the poor and needy. Harry! We've missed the train! The Hogwarts Express left five minutes ago! Oh no! What are we going to do? Well, I know that Dad took the flying car to work this morning. It's parked in Charon Cross Road. Okay, it's our only chance of getting to school on time. Being sure to check that no one was watching, Ron and Harry took off in the old Ford Anglia. Now all we've got to worry about are airplanes. <laughs> I can't see anything in here. Phew, that was close. I think we're almost there. Uh-oh, I think the car's cutting out. Come on, car. Come on! Stop! 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 revert to the point where and when
up, Harry. Now, see if you can cast for a pendle on this branch to get it off me. I think I see a sensitive spot right there. Thanks, Harry. Much appreciated. Not only does Marvel's cast light, it also reveals magically hidden things. To jump, run to the ledge and press the... This is a bronze wizard card. There are 50 of these scattered throughout Hogwarts. Each time you collect 10 new bronze cards, you are given a permanent stamina increase. Pressing the... It's not now the rain has stopped.
trees up here, Harry. Finally, there's the portrait of the fat lady. Give her the password and let's go to bed. I thought you'd have the password. Why would I have the password? Why would I have it? I've been with you since we got here. You're right. I better know who would have it. There you are. Right on time. I heard the most incredible story about you two getting expelled over a flying car. Oh, Marnie, please, we're tired. Could you just tell us what the password is? Wattlebird. It's good to see you again, Harry. There you two are. Brilliant entrance. Got the year off with a bang. Mum's furious, by the way. You two should hear about the bean trading system we've set up. It's based on Bertie Bott's Every Flavour Beans. Fred, myself and several of our associates have set up trading opportunities throughout Hogwarts. Some of us will occasionally have an item to trade. If you have enough beans, we'll trade with you. Where are we supposed to get all these beans? They're hidden all over the place. It's not hard to find them. You should have enough to start trading in no time. Once inside the common room, Harry was greeted by the cheers of his fellow Gryffindors. Harry and Ron became Gryffindor heroes due to their little accident with the Whomping Willow. Harry slept well that night and looked forward to his first day at Hogwarts. Good morning, Harry. It's time for our Defense Against the Dark Arts lesson with Professor Lockhart. I just love his books. He's such a brilliant writer. Defense Against the Dark Hearts in the Third Film. Follow us. Harry, Defense Against the Dark Hearts is up here. Try to hurry, Harry. We'll get to see...
remember where it is, don't you? I'd better get out of here. Filch might be lurking nearby. Well, well, well. I heard a crash, and what do I find? Mr. Harry Potter had a broken, irreplaceable antique vase. Argus Filch, the caretaker, was loathed by every student at Hogwarts. Some thought his cat, Mrs. Norris, spied on students. On? It, it just fell. <sighs> unnecessary, but I'll delight you with one anyway. I am Gilderoy Lockhart, Order of Merlin, third class, honorary member of the Dark Force Defense League, and five-time winner of Witch Weekly's Most Charming Smile Award. Ah, I see you've all bought a complete set of my books. Well done. Today, we shall be learning the Rictus Sempra spell. Rictus Sempra is very useful when stunning certain pesky creatures such as Cornish Pixies. Who wants to be first? Harry Potter, will you step down here, please? Lucky! Clear your mind completely, Harry. Don't even think about me. And concentrate on the symbol in front of you. See the wand? It's going to move its way around the symbol. At the exact point when the wand passes over the arrows, hit the corresponding arrow key. This exercise has three parts. You must hit all of the arrows correctly in order to progress to the next round. Ready to try? Round one, begin! Well done, Harry. You've advanced to the next round. Five points to Gryffindor. Round two, begin. Well done, Harry. You've advanced to the next round. Ten points to Gryffindor. Round three, begin. Aren't you glad you've learned from the likes of me? You've now completed the exercise. Fifteen points to Gryffindor. You've learned Rictus Sempra. You didn't do as well as I did the first time, but then who could? Now, how about a turn in the spell practice arena? Welcome, Harry Potter, to my famous Rictus Sempra challenge. To complete the challenge, you must find the completion star which will be found at the top of this tower. Try to get to it as quickly as you can. If the challenge timer reaches zero before you have the completion star, you lose the challenge. Along the way, you will find challenge stars. 
Collecting challenge stars will boost your timer and score. Fire crabs are nasty little pests that like to shoot hot flame. a giant orange snail. Avoid touching them or their slime trails. The acid that they secrete will burn you. Try to steal your birdie box beans. Flipendo will put. Flipendo!
Mr. Potter, you have completed my writ to separate challenge. The remaining talent now becomes your personal high score. Master of Hogwarts. Welcome to the very first weekly house point ceremony of the school year. The house with the most points wins a visit to the Dean of those rooms. The length of the visit depends on how many more points they have over the second place house. Let's take a look at the scores. Oh, it appears that Gryffindor is in the lead. Harry, it looks like you get to visit the bonus beam room. Good luck, and remember, you only have a limited time to collect beams. Found you. Hello, Wood. Time for Quidditch practice, Harry. None of the other teams have started training yet, so we'll have a good head start. But I haven't had lunch yet. You can eat later. Follow me to the Quidditch pitch. Cases like this. What do you have? I have a Nimbus 2001, the best model available to the general public. Suit yourself. Don't know when I'll have these again though. Listen up, Harry. We're going to make sure we win the Quidditch Cup this year, and the way we're going to do that is practice, practice, practice. First, a quick recap of what we learned last year. Of course you already know that the red ball is called the Quaffle, and it's the job of the three chasers to get it past the enemy keeper and into one of the goalposts. But you don't need to concern yourself with that. There are also two bludgers flying around that you don't want to get hit by. But don't worry, each team has two beaters who try to keep them away from you. 
And last, and most importantly, all right then, you can use your arrow keys to steer your broom left, right, up, and down. The Nimbus 2001 gives you much needed speed. Quidditch is a rough game, Harry, but don't worry, padding helps. That's it, Harry. Stay right on the snitch. You've almost got it. Now the rest of the Gryffindor team is here, let's play a mock game of Quidditch. Avoid the bludgers and the other seeker. I'm going to have a Gryffindor stand in as an enemy seeker. You'll need to make sure she's out of the way before you can catch the snitch. Don't worry, they'll take it easy on you. If you have enough beans, you can buy Quidditch upgrades from Fred and George. Remember, Harry, do not put your hand out to the enemy out of the way. Over here! That's it, Harry. Give them a good nudge so you can catch the snitch. When you're close to another player, Harry, you can use your action to kick or shove. That's it, Harry. You've almost got it. Excellent work, everyone. You're back on form, Potter, which means we've got a great chance of winning the cup this year. Aren't you finished yet, Harry? Don't look now, but here comes the Slytherin team. I don't believe it! I booked the pitch for today. Hey! They've got new brooms and planets like... Yes, they are! They live as 2001s! Yeah, I know. Apparently, Lucius Malfoy made a very generous donation. Like our new brooms, Weasley. What are you doing here, Malfoy? I'm the Slytherin Seeker now. Didn't you know? Perhaps someday Gryffindor will be able to afford new brooms. Well, at least no one on the Gryffindor team had to buy their way in. They got in on pure talent. No one asked your opinion, you filthy little mudbloods. You pay for that one, Malfoy. Well, at least I could afford it, Weasley, unlike you. Leave it, Ron. He's not worth the trouble. <laughs>